Here she is, the lovely Jennifer Love Hewitt. Love. <laughs> Freezing. You How look fantastic. You, you look Thanks. great. So do you. It's great to have you here. Thanks. Uh, Congratulations on the thank baby. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Very excited. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about you being here, <laughs> and uh, and I've had a chance to go through some things. And I think oh. I just want to start here, and I don't want to be weird for you, but I think it's important that I say this. I think it's about time we start seeing other people. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, but I just really? feel like the time's right. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, if you want to jaunt off on your own, I'm cool with that. <laughs> okay. I just want you to know. I really appreciate that. Do you? That. Yeah. So you're cool with that? That's yeah. it? You're not going to fight me on it? No, I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not. It's been a long how time. Doing? I'm doing good. How are good. you? You look great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Thanks. Last uh, time I was on your show, interesting things happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you were on there? Is that the, the first time I met yeah, you? Yeah, you said seven years ago. It was ten years ago. So not a lot to change with you, as I can see. Oh. <laughs> Do we have the, the guest ejector seat <laughs> set up? <laughs> uh, when was the first time? You came on, and that's when I met you, and that's when you fell in love with me, right? At the MTV show? Yeah. Is that, when, is that what Pretty happened? Pretty much instantly. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. Uh-huh. Well, it, it feels like fun. when you and I were, um, you know, going study and hanging out a lot, study. I knew <laughs> I gave you my letterman's jacket. Yeah, you I was wore. pinned. You were pinned. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't. Uh, don't. No, I waited for a good few months. Um, <laughs> this is like, this, this is, is your life. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. You're a sweetheart to be here. Yeah. Um, well, let's just try and get a little catch up here, because I haven't okay. really talked to you much since, uh, no. well, 10 years, you said now. Yeah. So, um, uh, house party of five? <laughs> How's that, is that still going? Or? No, it was canceled. No, it was? Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then you had the other show. Uh, canceled. Time of your life? Canceled. Canceled. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, that didn't have anything to do with me, though, right? A little. Okay. Yeah. Emotional uh, breakdown. <laughs> when I, the, uh, the last uh, image I have of you <laughs> is that you were, uh, you, you were doing so well, and then uh, a couple of these cancellations happened. Right. That must, was that a, a swallowing a piece of a humble pie there? It was, yeah. I mean, I, I think it was, you know, it was interesting, because I was on Party of Five, and the show instantly did well. Um, I joined it in the second year. It was with lovely people, and um, I instantly was like, you know, a teenager who had the world at her feet. Right. And then... Um, turned 21 and time of your life got canceled and suddenly you know i was begging people <laughs> say hello to me i was like hello queen i was at party of five um no it wasn't that you extreme. did you went from no, being just like was, you know, uber 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 famous especially in the teen crowd but uh it has its ups and downs and and i'm really grateful for the downs because now i'm on a great show that's doing luckily very very well and um and I appreciate it more now because I know what it's like to have both. I know what it's like to have something that's really good right. and something that's that's heartbreaking. And you just, I'm much more grateful. And how did the Ghost Whisper when the show came up? Um, how did that happen? They just, did you just go audition for a big sitcom? They, did you know it was going to be huge? They, or the, it's a drama. Right, I know it's a drama. Yeah. But <laughs> when I see you on, yeah. I just laugh. <laughs> you know, it's a situational <laughs> comedy to see Thanks. you Thanks. talking you to too. ghosts. You too. It's hilarious. Um. <laughs> It's like, I know her. She can't really talk to ghosts. I can. No, you can't. No, I can't. No. Um, Cats, yeah. yes, but not ghosts. Cats? Yeah, well. Garfield? Yes. Oh, got it. Um, Inside joke. <laughs> we'll edit that out, don't worry. Do the lobster. For no, oh, really? Yeah. going to go there? Come on. Where's my list of stuff? I've Come got on. some, you want some real talk? Can we just yeah. cut the show here? Yeah. How's your tattoo? Oh, yeah, the tattoo. <laughs> I'm bringing it all. Wow, you really are. <laughs> I'm just playing. You know what's a funny story is I called Love oh, no. um, when I was shooting the beach house stuff. Do you know when I called you and I had had, uh, I don't know if you know this about me, I, um, I have an occasional beer, I want to be honest. Really? I, I like. I had no idea. I like, uh, I'm Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Joe knows what I'm uh -huh. saying. But I called you and I told you that I had tattooed your name on me. Uh -huh. and, and, I, and what was your reaction? Do you remember when I told you on the phone? I don't think I was that happy about it. Was I don't remember I? your reaction, but the truth was I hadn't. <laughs> I actually, when I told you that, I hadn't gotten it yet. Really? Yeah. Why did you lie? And then, uh, well, I wanted to gauge how you would feel. Right. But so, I just didn't like it because you were hurting yourself. Where well, here, so then, um, right. you, you know, you, yeah, you went and whatever. Yeah, things happened. Mm -hmm. And then here's, can we get a shot of this? Have you seen this? No. no. 
That's, that was where, that's where your name was. <laughs> And, 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 and I did it once, but there was no way in God's green earth I was going to write the word Tara anywhere, anywhere on my body. I have Tara on me, though, which is weird. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, well, it's a crab now. What a a, yeah, night. it's a crab coming out of That's a pocket That's interesting. Night. Yeah. Thank you for that. Would you ever get some, are you in love now? Do you have a steady boyfriend? No. no? Is that difficult for you? After me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's tough. You know, it has been difficult. You know? It has been difficult. Where do you go? To recover. You know? Where yeah, do you go? It has. You? Yeah, well, you know, here we are. Uh, we're going to take a break, I think. <laughs> we're way over time. We thought it would be fun, though, to take a, and you were nice enough to do this, we took a compatibility, uh, yeah. a real test to see what, uh, you know, uh, like Cosmopolitan would think about, about our. So we'll, we'll take a break now. Joe, you need to just settle down. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back more with Jennifer Love Hewitt after this. And the music tonight is Spoon. That's Joe Firstman. Joe, get me out of this. from the hit CBS drama, Ghost Whisperer, <laughs> where Jennifer Love Hewitt talks to uh, the deceased. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Do you want to comment on that? I mean, I don't, you don't have to. It was Dance all... workout with Barbie? Yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> How old were you when you did that? Was that I your was... first gig in Hollywood? I, no, I was, uh, I was 12. I was just getting my boobies. <laughs> <laughs> just a personal comment. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes, see? Yes. Yeah. And they just kept uh, on getting and getting and getting and getting. All and, right. All right. Okay. The show's Ghost Whisperer. <laughs> it's on uh, CBS. And, and for those who haven't seen it, and we have a lot of, uh, we're on very late at night. And if, you're, if there's perhaps somebody that's watching that hasn't seen it, what would you say about the show that might get like a guy that has a bong in his mouth right now to watch your show? What, uh, it's not just about talking to dead people. You, you play, uh, you're married in the show? I do. I play newlywed. I play an antique store owner. Neither one of those is going to get that guy. Right. I wear tiny well, tops. Okay, well, there you go. Now we're on to something. <laughs> you know this clip we're about to show? I don't. No? Well, I don't think it's, uh, it's important. I think I... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's you and a, a, maybe a trunk of a car, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Let's yes, take a yes, look. yes. I do know what this is about. We... There's a woman getting married, and I'm talking about how I don't want to know what kind of women my husband stated before me. That's funny. Uh, here's uh, Love Hewitt in Ghost Whisperer. Mark has no idea his fiance is being haunted by his late wife. No, now she doesn't want to tell him. Well, she's going to have to tell him eventually, or you're going to have to get the ghost to cross over before the wedding. I don't know if I can. I can't make his spirit go if they don't want to go. Man, Lisa is bumming. Well, the last thing she wants is Mark thinking about Serena on their wedding day. You know, she just wants to start with a clean slate. Yeah, but you, you never start with a clean slate. I mean, people always make comparisons to past relationships. Yeah, I know, but that's not something you want thrown in your face. You hear that one? There's a sentence. Oh, today, did it? Uh, we thought it'd be fun, and we, we have to do this very quickly now, because uh, love is just a chatterbox. Um, <laughs> I gotta get Spoon out here to perform, but we thought it'd be fun to do this. Um, don't I don't talk too much. No, not at all. Okay. I'm a babbling fool, clearly. <laughs> uh, we wanna do the compatibility quiz. You answered questions before the show. Yeah. Honestly, I hope. I did the same. There's a few here that we didn't get to that I'll ask you now. Uh, and then we have the results, which we'll get to in a second. On a scale of one to 10, you how are- ask me out loud? Yeah, sure. That's not fair. No one's watching. <laughs> Let me just fill them out. I don't wanna answer them out loud. That's well, look, you'll just, uh, look, here are my answers. It's how important are the following. <laughs> First we'll be right with you. Ten, ten first, uh, one being least, ten being most, on, on those things. Oh, you don't, you don't answer those. Okay, then write them down. Okay. Then write them down. You're so difficult. <laughs> How's your mom? She's great, thanks. Yeah. Yours? Very good, thanks. Okay, Grandma. perfect. Oh, did you? Oh. Ooh. Well, don't cheat ooh. on mine. Oh, I'm not cheating. All right. Uh. uh okay. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna do so well in that section. Well, let, I'm just gonna add this in. Wow, really false? That's awful. There's a reason. Yeah, well, it all makes sense now. Do we have the, uh, oh, do we, that's just do we have nice. the results? Jamie, do you have those? Can I get a little drum roll here? 
How many questions did we answer in real life? 15. 15? We answered 15 legitimate questions for a uh, compatibility test. I blame the breakup on you, you break it up, you blame it on me. So this is, the answer is, we are 92% compatible. <laughs> Maybe you'll get it right next time, you know? I should say I took the wow. same exact quiz last night and it said my soulmate was Eon Flux, so. But can we, can, I, can we just say one thing, though? Yeah. Can we just say that for the time being, no matter what happened, I was yes. a really good girlfriend to you and you were a great boyfriend and just end it with The that. latter is so true. The, <laughs> the first part is definitely true. We had a lot of fun and it was a good time in our lives, so we should end it like it, that. It, it was. That's it ended important. a little weird, I gotta be honest. A little weird. It did, but that doesn't A little matter. weird. Well, it not doesn't to you, matter. but, well, all right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is what it was like. Check. It doesn't matter. But you're a sweetheart to be here. Oh, and you know I love God. it. Come here. You know I love it. All right. Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Ghost Whisperer is the show. It's on CBS on Friday nights at 8. 8 o'clock. We'll be right back with Spoon right after this. Last call with...